Team Spoon, like Shaka for example, and it, sh it should be a good match, but I don't, I don't know, just from what I know of B the B-Boys team, I think they should be able to handle it very well, they play very well on Granary earlier, so let's just see what happens really. Yeah, cool. It's going to be great to see. As right now, Team Blue and Team Red. The Buffly, Buff, Beverly's, Beverly's, Beverly's. I'm serious now. I'm going to have to find a way to easy pronounce that one in the blue. Is going to move their way on over as Team Spoon reaches this middle as well. First middle in the second semi final here going live in the CompTF Newbie Cup. And as both teams reach this middle so far, initial good start here by the blue team. But it's Team Spoon responding with a double of themselves. Four soldier kills so far on the board. And as eight players are left standing, Silence now goes down first. The blue team at the very end managing to be somewhat up top. Shaba sitting in the back though, probably going to try and pick up that medic. He's still sitting there, hits one, hits two, hits three, gets the kill onto Alex. And that might be something to put there on the board as their medic is obviously going to spawn first. And with first, I mean right now, and they're going to have an uber advantage going into the second point. Yeah, the, uh, the Duke from B-Boys went behind them and got a couple of nice picks, distracted them quite hard, but luckily, they, sadly, they couldn't keep their medic alive. You know, they're getting time on point right now, though, keeping them swam down quite well. They could come out quite easily here, because the, the currency players don't have a medic arrive with them in the app. Oh, they get the point for free, luckily. So hopefully, we'll be able to see something I, I, happen. Like, yeah. Hopefully, I, I, Team Spoon will be able to do something with their advantage. I know about this though, Basehead. Like, I know about this, and you know about this. They're running crit screen. Silence has picked up the crit screen, and whilst that is a completely obvious choice to do, because your medic died first, respawns yeah. earlier, you get the advantage, but you kind of don't really want to go for a risky defense like that. So they decided not to go for it, build off that crit screen, and as it's almost ready right now, the overcharge on the other side is only five or so seconds left off. So this crits can hit, but it has to hit right now. As we see double kills get exchanged, crit screen gets popped off, double rocket kill right there onto Yodo and Alex. That's Medic down, triple rocket kill. There's only a scout and a Delman left alive for Team Blue right here. Four red players, they take down a Delman right there. As 3 h 5 drops to the floor, only one scout. He has been spotted though, and they make their way towards the second point. And as the scout gets picked off, it should be a clear win for the red team. Just have to wait and see how the script is going to pan out. 50% right now. Uh, Mr. Silence building that one up together with a soldier moving away onto middle. They're a little bit greedy right here. Let's see if they can manage to job out safely enough as they do. Del Men now comes into the fray as well as Shaka together with the rest of the team. Just going to try and push through this choke side with a crit squeeze. Usually not the best way of doing it. They're going to see if they can make this one work though. 3H5 does already have those stickies there. It's the blue Del Men just sticking it up. One crit sticky flying through. Second one as well. Crit stickies now finally getting detonated. Silence goes down. Damage really has gone into the favor of the Blues. Let's see if they can win the scout through here on the side. It's Juke, Juke, Juke Box with the weirdest name ever. He's going to get taken down. I didn't see that one just yet. Looks like the Reds might be able to prevail into this one just yet. It's Team Spoon. Three players now rocking towards this middle. 3H5 going down. J7. God, that, these names are going to drive me absolutely crazy. They, they kill Blue, basically. That's, I think, the main thing that we can see as... Uh, Felizzi's boys right now just dropping their way back, 85% on towards that minigun. Just going to build that Uber charge off and see if they can hold off against the onslaughting Wrath from Team Spoon, which is about to hit them here on second. Really just depends on how greedy Team Spoon wants to be here. That's the main thing. Let's see if he's actually, if they're actually going to stay defense here and they're going to move their way onward. Looks like they are going to drop back, back, back inside the middle point. It's pretty much what you want to do. Playing against a team which has more recharge than you, just back the hell the right off. Ideally, you want to force it, and so far they haven't been able to force it just yet. The sticky trap and the roaming damage coming down onto the demo. The three H five's gone down. Uber charge has been popped off as well. Good exchange so far. Four team spoon as they get two kills, three kills. Even against an Uber team, that is a very good exchange here for Team Spoon as they move their way on. 95% of the silence as well. Ideally, you don't want to lose those scouts here very clearly. They have gone down though. And it's going to be a four versus three right now moving on. It looks like they're going to rotate towards Big Door. You can see you can see how hesitant they are in their player right now. They lost their scouts. They don't want to lose anything more. But both Shaba and Phobos have now respawned. If they can take one or so player without trying to get the supercharge force. Oh, there comes the Uber Force. Great play coming out of the Roamer. Just dropping his way onto him there. And as Snow goes down as well, it's one player down the drain. Team Spoon cannot return any of that so far. So it's going to be a five versus six. As they kill to Robbie Omega, though they have the stuff secure, but can they also cap this point off? That's pretty much going to be the main main, uh, main question here. As Jukebox comes in there, the weird Jukebox, not the actual Jukebox, ladies and gentlemen. He picks up a double, 
kind of in jukebox style. And you can see it gets taken out of Shabba there at the very end. Even though Team Spoon picks up that point, heading for the Buffalo Easy Boys. No problem whatsoever staying alive for the time being. Only 30 HP now, though. But with 98%, he's going to be hitting that Uber, no, Uber charge. No problem whatsoever. Now we the blue team pushing out. For anyone who's um, curious about why you're only hearing my voice and not Basehead's voice, I, I think you can guess what's been happening. So <laughs> obviously bear with us after that one. Until that moment, you're just going to have to stay with us. I don't really like the way that the red team so far is just holding on towards that rock and side. Silence is going to die, man. All right, Surf coming out of him. Is he going to stay alive? No way he's going to stay alive. As the blue team picks up two, picks up three. Are they going to be able to pick up four? It looks like the melee battle's happening on Joke. Kill is coming into the favor of Shaka. Shaba is going to try and block that one off. Can he manage to get anything done? It doesn't look like it whatsoever. Still sitting up top there, though. He's going to try to assassinate Alex. Can he do it? Cannot do it. J7. Oh god, that's the worst name of all time. I'm not going to be able to do any of that. We'll wait and have to wait and see how the blue team's going to try and uh, play this one out right now. It's obviously the Reds. They lost a couple of players. The Blues. There are a couple of players left, left up. But obviously, six and a half minutes in, the score is still 0-0. And I think it's been back and forth about three or four times already. So even though this is going to go back and forth into the favour of the blue team at the moment. The Buffaloes boys are going to have to be very curious here. They have the slight advantage, but they lose a soldier right here. They're up against a sniper as well. So if Shaba can hit some sort of miracle shot, that might put them in a very, very good position. He's sitting in forward spawn, though. He's probably looking for them to push through, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully they lost that soldier. Let's wait and see. I... I I'm, I, I'm seeing the red team, and I'm sure you guys are seeing the exact same old stream. They're actually going to push through here. You don't really want to be doing this when you have a sniper, uh, because you kind of just lose a combat boss. But if they can drop back out of this one in time, it looks like they do. It's a good execution. Now you want to use your sniper. Let's see if he can grab a pick, but actually on the flag, double pick comes out. It's both Phobos and Lapino go down. Robbie Omega does get taken out. If they can take one here on Choke, they might be all right. They need that kill on the Choke. Can they kill that scout? It looks like it. It took them a while. But Jukebox has gone down, that means it's four versus four, and both teams lost a soldier and a scout. It's very even. It's going to come down to how well you can protect the demo, and how well you can focus fire. So far, though, the red team is doing all right, but the blue team is having a lot more health as the Buffalo East boys now making their way through. And a silence, and both, both Silence and Shava actually drop to the floor. It looks like they might be able to just build off this supercharge, take up the point, and then make their way into last year. Pretty much no problem. It should not be a problem here. And as I say that, I can actually see my good buddy Basehead here reconnecting as well. I can hear him silently laughing. Yeah, Probably more, a, my more a part of shame than anything, most yeah. likely. <laughs> yeah, That's alright, man. Is your, in, is your internet okay, or is it just completely terrible? It should be alright, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> I thought I was the guy with the internet issues, but doesn't matter. As right now, the Buffalo Easy Boys making their way in, top right hand side. Pretty Focus standard the heavy Uber down versus no Uber. Oh, a great play there. They cannot kill the heavy though. 3 HP on the Shaba. Waste a lot of ammo to that one, but obviously no Uber charge on the other side. All they have to do is focus fire and don't jump onto the point. And it looks like this is exactly what they're going to do. Keep the Delman out of fight, launch everyone on it, and you'll be perfectly fine. 1 0 in favor of the Blues. That was quite nice. I managed to. Uh, get some good damage onto the heavy. Unfortunately, he surfed away, but they managed to finish him down eventually. And they just sort of all piled onto the point and bait and you know, finish them off after uh, went to block it. Who's been like the stronger team in? Has it been the B boys? Yeah, a little, a little. Oh, the B. Damn it, B boys! Of course, you've been calling them that since the start. Damn it! <laughs> They're terrible at this casting thing. I should try and do it more often. As right now, we can see the first rack going into the favor of Team Spoon. But it looks like one scout might be a little bit overextending. Help also in the favor of Team Spoon. As Lapino picks up a double right now, as he gets the kill right there, and Robbie Omega as well. Managed to pull this one off. It looks like they can. Alex a little bit overextended here. Gets one kill onto a scout with the freaking needles on the choke as well. It's pretty damn great in all honesty. But now Team Spoon finally picking up a middle. See if they can be a little bit more anticipating onto this one than uh, the B boys were last time around. They managed to get out and keep their medic alive, which is lucky. Uh, sadly, they're just not going to be able to block, uh, block second at all. But they'll have that uber charge for last and hopefully they'll be able to hold on to it and push back out. They're running the heavy in Yoda and hopefully he'll be able to take some of the uber. Uh, Ubex has gone pyro as well. Are we, we are using ETF12 rules and stuff? Is that like, Kamiko yeah. probably is, is able to tell us that. 
So are we gonna see like degrees or pyro in this yeah, scenario? Yeah. Is it just gonna be? Uh, I'm guessing. I, I could have just checked. I guess both teams do have Uber though. They're gonna come gonna make their way in here onto the side as jukebox and Hope boss both go down here. So pyro for a scout, pretty much an even trade so far. It looks like the Reds are now gonna try and put it up and put it up a notch. As 3A tribe does get a couple of pipes in, but Alex, he is so many weak. Has to sit into that corner and it gives the place, it gives the time for Team Spoon pretty much what they need. Alex, what are you doing? Gets the salt <laughs> in as well on the Shava. I cannot believe he missed shot after shot after shot. And it gives the B boys right here an opportunity to make something happen. Five players up, six players now up against the three players of Team Spoon and 3A Tribe being a little bit ballsy there. He's going to be able to secure the area for his team so that they can come in and tap that second point, which should be for free. Yeah, they got some good time on point. They just got to keep an eye on the flank here. The scout trying to pressure them from the big door, but it's not really working. 3H5 uh, really won that, that for them, then he just spammed them at that combo out and uh, waited for his team to come save him. However, now he's trying to pipe this scout. Will he be able to get him? Oh no, Shabba managed to get him and now the flank's completely open. They didn't have any eyes on it and uh, Rome is jumping up behind him, distracting. Not, not too bad of a trade here. He gets a lot of damage done, that lap, you know, guy. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's been having some good plays already, that's for sure. Yeah, he's allowed his team to come back in and pop off the Eva. I, I'm not really sure how much I like this. Uh, they need to, they really, really, really need to switch a lot. Oh, I think, I really think the beat boys could be more aggressive here. They're not though, they're, yeah. they're giving Team Spoon the time to just sort of heal themselves up and get the damage done. They're doing a good job. Really, yeah. I, oh, I would have loved them to see the be aggressive there. <laughs> yeah, a, l a little, a little, that's for sure. It's going to give them the points. Obviously, the Ubers, once again, are pretty much equal though. So that's not going to change anything. It would be very weird to not see an Uber versus Uber fight breaking off until, unless some sort of pick is going to come in. Take an eye. I think Lachnow is going to be the guy we want to look at. Is he going to be able to try and make a play here somewhere? He's getting healed up right now by his medic here on the side, Riverside at the moment. Let's see if he's going to jump in before that Uber actually is ready or if he's not. It looks like they're just spamming rockets, just getting some spam down. But apart from that, nothing is going to happen. And we're going to see a 6 versus 6 fight. And we're going to see if it's coming in from the Riverside now. See if Fire can get any denial going. Uh, the Pino goes down first and manages to get the Uber out of the blue team. But they're all just on the point. Got two picks off here and as long as they don't drop players, it should be alright. Shaka going down as well, just the medical live silence. He must be running away somewhere. Now clearly some overextending going on right there yeah. with Team Spoon as they just... They lost a couple of players in and even though that is perfectly fine, you want to get the hell out before the enemy team can use that advantage to kind of kill you off. That's got the silence way pinned down. <laughs> if he manages is he to actually skip getting here? out? There's no way okay. he's actually getting out. He eats 20 HP. As well. <laughs> dodge, dodge, there's stick. No, he's getting out. Silence is out, ladies oh, and gentlemen. 20% onto him. Yeah, Shabba got a good distraction Alex, then. then. Yeah. Silence right then, just couldn't get out, and then luckily he did, but he lost quite a bit of Uber advantage, so hopefully if the blue team just take, yeah, two player advantage now, so he should just be getting in, so they'll have Uber in time. Oh, I love this, uh, I, I love that the chat is going wild, like, hey, Jukebox is playing, he's playing Pyro and Diff 6. No, guys, no. <laughs> Different Jukebox. <laughs> Jukebox is not that weird of a name, that's <laughs> for sure. Ubercharge is probably going to come in here any second. It took a while for Silence to get out, even though he did get out, he still obviously has a disadvantage. And they're getting caught with their pants down. It's something that is very common around the lower divisions. It's not really counting that Ubercharge as efficiently and as, as, as focused as you probably should. And obviously, they were a little bit off. They said, you know what, Silence didn't go down. We might be. No, you're not okay, guys. The enemy medic has been building all that time. Gonna pop off that Uber before you Ooh. guys, no problem whatsoever. And as Lapino goes down as well, there should be a free second point here for the Uber. Yeah, Lapino tried to pick off a uh, 3H5, but he, managed, he didn't manage to do it. And now, uh, Sergeant coming in to deny the point. <laughs> he just gets uh, blown away by J7. I actually killed the demo though. Might have a shot here. But I actually got to pull this one off. Alex is under assault right now by his scout now. There's no way he actually decide shot. to sit on last. <laughs> Yeah, Shabba's Again, stuck behind them now. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure, base. I'm, I'm really not sure because there's a couple of times now where Team Spoon could have pushed and they didn't. Yeah. And there's a couple of times where they should have pushed and they didn't. So it, I guess that's just kind of the way it works. Now with 100% though, Alex and the rest of the B-Boys, they're going to try and make their way into last. Probably top right side once again. It worked last time. They're going to try it again. And here they come. Leading the study managed to get the combo back in spawn. Right now, if they can get some time on point, that'd be handy. They managed to pick off Shaka, forcing everyone onto the point. If, uh, red team do have a heavy there coming in to deny. 
you ready? It looks oh. like, yeah. <laughs> Him versus the world there is the Athena was trapped behind the point and couldn't really help them up then. <laughs> to the zero right now in favor of the b-boys as the blue team and the red team both making their way towards middle for the third time so far the middles have gone one and one both teams pick one up but obviously team spoon they won the middle last round couldn't capitalize on it that time around let's see if they can change that one up Managed to put a round on the board it's the second semi-final here ladies and gentlemen in the comp tf newbie cup shaba goes down first things are not looking good for team spoon here that goes up fast, but they do manage to get free at Shive after, but then they do lose their medic. So right now we're just seeing the blue team do some cleanup here, making sure to not lose anyone. Lapino, last one alive, trying to fight on Nukebox. Oh, he gets bombed by Rabio, and a nice direct hit from him. Yeah. They should be out there. Gonna be looking to push into second here, get on top of the point, hopefully. We had to catch it catch it for free. Silence and Shabra just building back on. They might be able to contest this from top, but they're going from lobby, which isn't really gonna work with Scout. No, I, th I think they realize that there's no actual way that they can block, defend, or even attempt to look at it to be, be, without getting killed. So they're going to play very passive. Ideally, you want like a sniper, a spy, or something to get that Uber charge out early. Killing a scout is a good thing as well. In order to take that train in, you can see they have a soldier sitting on the side, lapping out. He's sitting there. He's going to look and see if he can kill some players. But obviously, they're not going that way because that's the way a roaming job works. If you hide somewhere, they always go the opposite way. That might actually just be me as the <laughs> charge now comes topped off. They probably actually can defend this. A very difficult yeah, position here to be boys. They lost the Delman early as well, Basehead. They're not gonna pick this one off. They're actually gonna lose a lot of players in the process. And the scout should be oh, again for Alex gets a nice fit. But the second time it's already nice he kills with needles. <laughs> don't don't chase a medic when you're 20 HP, guys. I know a medic doesn't have a shotgun or something like that, but when you're 20 HP, you're still gonna die. Don't do it. Yeah, they're looking to defend this though, but it just looks like it's this uh, medic and the demo man in. They got someone behind, but they're not really coordinated here enough. But they are getting the pick somehow, because of the caster, I suppose. Um, they forced out the red team back into their lobby. They're just pressuring them so hard right now. It's 3H5 trying to get picked off by Phobos, so, and oh, <laughs> but yeah, they managed to get a nice pick onto the medic, so as long as they, yeah, they're gonna be 100% Uber advantage going into this if they just wait for their players. So it looks like it might be end of the round of Alex right now. Obviously, Silence did get taken down. Massive advantage here. Are they really going to push without 3H5? They don't have to. Like, they have the time to wait for him. But it looks like, okay... I, I think that was a little bit of miscommunication. I think two players went in, and I think everyone else was kind of like, well, where's the rest? Um, a little bit of miscommunication, that's for sure. Is it 4 versus 5? Are they going to wait again? If they wait too long, Silence might be able to build this one off. It looks like Team Spoon is not building as efficiently either. He's healing Pyros at the moment. And Pyros Shaka managed build. to get a nice pick with his pipes. He got to 2k, but then died himself. Uh, and then the B-Boys decided not to push up enough out, and they just let them got Uber, really. Well, they just let them get their Uber, and if, unless they go in soon, they're going to be having to hold this second. They, uh, they the pocket lose. goes down to oh. the flare gun. The they lose base. so many players individually, they cannot actually yeah. use this Uber advantage. Silence was dead when they hit 100. And now they still have a hundred, and Silence has built this one off completely. Um, they should have waited. And he now Silence drops. goes. To Jesus drops Christ! Drops to don't, Was that a drop? I might have been on yeah. ninety-eight or something oh, like no, that. Okay. But it was Maybe very close yet. for sure. That, um, yeah, Team Spoon and the B boys the at the moment. Just going all over the place. Here. <laughs> they're they're both very confused at the moment. Basically, now they drop a Delman again. <laughs> uh, Alex just popped that Uber off. Are you insane? It's. Keep your players alive, what the now hell is going on? Now they're pushing in with three people for the Uber Vanish. Focusing down the demo run on the right hand side, Robio trying to get him. They pop off and uh, then it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get anything done here with the two soldiers. Pyro is reflecting them quite well. Oh, uh, Pyro gets picked off actually, by Uber. Nope, he cannot get that reflect off man, it's not the way it is at the moment. It looks like the beat boys might Scout. prevail, they might, but they need to be greedy. Yeah, okay, they're greedy. Look, Alex is yeah, going, they're going, they're going for it. They're going for it, but obviously they're all hugging the point. Lapino oh. picks up a three. Can it, can it be enough in order to hold on to this one? He needs one more. Shaka this. comes and helps us out. Shaka gets that kill done as well. Delman is going to try and cut the one off three. No, Byron, oh. what are you doing? Shaba, use your <laughs> brain, Shaba. What are you doing? Just jump on towards that point. I don't think they realized that the Deltman was still there, the calls got insane, everyone went mental. And like me, I think they were shouting at each other right there. It's now Team Spoon 3-0 down. It's the B-Boys looking good to making their way towards the Grand Final so far.
Yeah, right now we. <laughs> That's 3 nil to the B-Boys and they're going into the mid with a lot of confidence and they're getting 2 picks early on, they do lose one of their soldiers for it there, but they're just going to clean up. It just seems to be a lack of coordination and focusing on the middles for the Team Spoon, they'd, that right now they should be getting out, but they're just letting their medic be picked up by u bucks here, hopefully, unless... Nope. No? Oh, he gets picked up by Phobos. Yup. <laughs> they are finally walking out, but not, they're trying to defend this chick. Not really sure why. Going back in, with the, leading with a scout. It's going to be difficult for them to do this. <laughs> well, if they don't lose their medic, and I guess it's okay. I can, they're just wasting a lot of time at the moment for both sides. Oh, they get the force out. Can they keep their scouts alive? Yes, great over right there from Silence. One of the first times I haven't seen him Again, die. Blocked. Doing a good job at the moment. Yoda going down as well. Good focus fire here by the scouts as Phobos and Shaman coming the way in. Phobos getting headshot now. Jukebox playing Sniper. I love this one already. I guess that's why you picked that name. Got rocking that one out. Alex now goes down. Good play by Shaman. Takes him out. I can see that both the B-Boys and Team Spoon are getting a little bit insane right now. I think they both just threw logic out of the out of the out of the equation and just decided, you know what, let's just go and fight. I think it's gonna be a great idea. And both teams so far getting pretty much equal ground onto that one. They both lose their medic, they both lose their soldiers, they both going back lose in. their demo. Yeah. At the moment it looks like <laughs> the B-Boys are slightly gonna prevail. But again, here comes Foas. He's going to try and get the shots in. Gets one. He's a sniper. Can he get that one? No, he cannot. It's Jukebox SMG. He's going to finish him off. It looks like Lapino and Shaba are the last two remaining standing. And Shaba, again, he's greedy. Look at him sitting at the rock. If he gets headshotted, I'm going to. I'm just going to be. I'm going to say I told you so, Shaba. If he gets headshotted by that sniper, it's not going to happen. But the B Boys do have an advantage to work with to make their way on. There you go, Lapino you know, gets shot nice down. Good shot by Jukebox. Good shot. And it's going to give them the way to move towards the second point. Pretty much for free. Even though they have no Dale men into the fray, they have enough soldiers and enough firepower in general to make this one work. Time has been added. I'll be able to see a nice headshot here from Jukebox as he's going to be peeking from about maybe on me. Yeah, they should be going in with the Evo advantage. They're on 90% right now. They should just be going straight in on the duck. They just focus down the medic and u bucks is sniping from river. Oh, oh he good gets shot. a nice shot. Good so. shot. And it's the actual the jukebox, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's it's the real jukebox. He's come back from retirement and has made his way into the B-Boy team. As right now, he gets the picks, but everyone else is kind of staying alive. And the B-Boys have decided to rush a point. It's not really the best idea you want to do, but 3 and try. If he is still alive, he needs to get taken down. It's not going to happen. And his Delman stickies combined with the rest of the players that was alive going to be able to put the fourth point on the board and now match point here for the B-Boys in the second semi-final. I don't know how much time there is left. I guess there's not a lot. Seven there's, minutes uh, left. Yes, yeah, seven minutes. Theoretically still possible right here for Team Spoon to come back and make the weirdest comeback in history. But here in the CompTF Newbie Cup, so far we have not seen that throughout the entire tournament. Can Team Spoon manage to pull it off? 3H5 goes down. Double kill already coming out for both Phobos and Lapino. As Shaka picks up a third as well. Lapino picks up a double. Making that four in total here for Team Spoon, and they win this middle, the second of the five middles that they've won so far. And even though they haven't done that too bad themselves, they need to be able to close off rounds. And this is their second chance in, able, in order to make that happen. Yeah, they should be able to get second for free here. Hopefully, they'll just won't let their meta get picked off. They're going into lobby, and uh, the, the B boys have gone with their heavy and their pyro defense again, which is quite viable now with the pyro. Pyro can just deny a lot with the degrees in the set, which is quite interesting. Uh, one of the soldiers go is trying to get into water, but gets denied by Robio Mega. Oh, and then <laughs> Snoo dies as well. They're bleeding players before they've gone in, and they've even got okay, advantage. So that's three players what, down. Yeah, that's three down. <laughs> okay, no, but if you're going to sacrifice that's four, they, no, that's okay. That's okay. If you lose two, you might as well lose four, but then you don't <laughs> want to pop off Uber, which has. Never mind, every sort of logic just doesn't work right now. As Silas and Shaka pop that Trying one off. Get out for they get, I think they got one player or something like that, basically. Yeah. Nothing more than that. As uh, right now, 3H5, only 30 HP. If he gets picked off, this might be a, an arrow through the point to the push right here. There you go, he does get taken oh. down. Phobos is rushing Scouting his way in that. there. As, uh, the aim was pretty good right there. Got the double shot into 3H5, died immediately. Even though Alex right now has that Uber charge ready. But the red team have pulled out a sniper now, but it looks like the blue team are just going to hold last since losing their yeah, they don't want to push This is the thing, them. you can have a sniper, but only the b-boys have jukebox. Sorry. Yeah, he's on the medic. Oh, yeah, but it was a body shot. Good. It was. It's a bot. Like, if they had jukebox, that would have been a headshot. It just wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> That's the way it is. 
He d they need to build. Go. Look, see, Shaba, he's, he's missing those shots, right? He's going for it. It's okay. It's not too bad, but it's not too yeah. box. They're spamming him out quite well. He's just not hitting the shots. So... Yeah, he's, he's been just missing now. B-Boys nice managed to force them before they come in and got a lot of time on point though and they just have to hit, focus down the demo man because he's just going to put six on that point surely. Soldier going on. Yeah, yeah, Soldier gets on point and gets it. A good execution right there. It was a little bit scrappy from both sides but in the end they launched players to the point. They got a demo man to sticky that one up as soon as the enemy team lost the high ground. That's kind of the way you want to do it. And that's the way Team Spoon pulled that one off. That is one round. Four more in a row is what they need in order to pick this one up. And they have four minutes and 30 seconds to do it. They're going to need to go faster than what they did last time, that's for sure. Four to one is the score on ladies and gentlemen, in the second semi-final. Let's see if the B-Boys can close this one out. Or if the comeback of the century is happening, oh. and who it might be, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, they Three kills already. Shaka's the only player so far that has died on the side of Team Spoon. They might lose a scout. No, it's actually not. It's Fomos body blocks that rocket. He bucks alive his there. his buddy Shaba alive. Very well played there by Team Spoon. They need to go, go, go. That's for sure. One scout onto the point, and the rest just go as fast as you possibly can. They need at least three rounds in order to force a call and cap. You bucks going for the medic right now. Oh, he gets the drop. Oh, was it 90% oh. again? But he managed to get the medic in lobby. While he was on 95%, I think. It's just, if they were building that at least a little bit, they would have had that. They wouldn't, they would have had the chance of popping the Eva, but I don't know. You boys just get two shots in straight away, they're not in the Eva push. And then the, the B boys should be able to push right now, the medics might be up, yeah. And why why it, would they? It's 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock, you're 3 points up. You don't yeah, push, you just sit. the glory points. Look at the glory points, there's no, there's no, there's no points with on. glory points. I don't six care on. six, no it's... <laughs> It's either out of the tournament or in the grand final. Nobody cares about the score. That's the way it works. Play this game to win, not to have fun. That's the way <laughs> it works. That's, uh, right now, you see the B-Boys doing Silence what you going do. They're again. going for the glory points. If they get back capped, going to say I told you so, Matt Base. Uh, That's the way it is. Hopefully the heavy will survive. It's not happening, though. <laughs> it's the actual jukebox people are saying. Guys, it's not. I'm just, I'm just making fun of it. It's not the actual jukebox. Uh, it's a... Uh, some guy who called himself Jukebox to spell it a little bit differently, and this should be pretty much it. Unless right now Teespoon can put some sort of 30 second round on the board and then do that twice more. It probably is going to be it here as the B Boys just going to pop yeah, that Uber pop off. Only in. three players left alive. Everyone is standing right there. Three try not hitting any pipes, though. Obviously, that's not going to help out. But Soldier and Nailman right now jumping yeah. silence. Staying alive, staying alive, staying alive. But uh, like the BG said, at some piped. point, there's going to be an end of it. Let's get piped right there to death as Thuria tries to pick that one up. Silence gets dropped down. That is going to be the end of the dream that Team Spoon had. They reached it to the semi finals. Did an unbelievably good job. I think they won four rounds, I think it was. Three or four rounds, depending on what side of the bracket you're on. It's the top side, though, so I'm assuming they played three rounds before this one. Picked a lot of those newbie teams off. Do end up stranding right here in the semi finals, though. Soul just going to try and get a pick with Lapino. Gets double shot by Yoda there. Very, very good reaction speed from that guy. It's not Yoda, but Yoda is doing a good job nonetheless. Alright, the control point is being captured. It looks like it's just gone a bit silly now. Can't sit on the sniper even though they're four down. They are. B boys come in through last three main, they're getting spammed out, however, and they get popped. With, they managed to save the demo man, so you should be able to get this. Silence going for an Uber tour hit on the Uber medic isn't really going to work, sadly. They do have the pyro to time the fight nicely, but if the blue team just gets some spam on it, they're just going to be cleaned up here, surely. Well, Snow's going to uh, try and block off this point, but he misses the double reflect there as well. And there you go, scout cleanup might happen. Shaka's still alive. There you go. So he finally gets taken down. That dispenser's not going to help you, shall I? I'll tell you that one. GG's have come out. It's yeah. going to be the end of the second semi-final here, ladies and gentlemen, as the B-Boys are going to move on towards the grand final, where they face the Rushers. Uh, they were called the Rushers, right? Yeah, I didn't note that down properly. Um, with a <laughs> sort of side, what is it, like a mirrored R? I think that's the uh, official way of saying it. I got a connection problem. I'm sure it's just yesterday yeah, uh, it, 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 getting yeah, closed off. So that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Five to one in favor of the B-Boys. They're going to make their way towards the grand final here in the CompTF Newbie Cup. My name is Pledge. With me is Basehead at the moment and Ducky's sitting on camera. I want to thank you very much for joining us so far. We're going to get these teams ready.
Before we go and get the grand final going here, I want every single one of you to be hyped. Grab a drink, grab some food. It is dinner time over here in Europe, so go and do that. But when you return, the grand final of the CompTF Newbie Cup here in Europe, not the American version just yet, that's going to be later on this week, but the European version is going to reach its close in a best of three in the grand finals between the Buffalese boys and the Rushers going up against each other, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.